Handy out tonight here. When your phone's in vibration mode and it's in your pocket or you have it on the table next to you but you're not able to look at it for whatever reason, how do you know who it is that's trying to contact you? If it's your significant other, if it's someone important that you're waiting to hear back from but you're tied up in a meeting or an appointment and you can't check it and you want to know the difference between that person and just somebody else, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom vibration within the iPhone. And I'll also give you some tips for Android too. And I'll get into it right after this. Vibration mode on our smartphones, particularly the iPhone like I'm on here, is, is a, an important feature, especially when we don't want to disrupt the people around us or have that annoying ringtone in a quiet meeting. So I'm going to show you how you can set custom vibrations in, uh, in the iPhone, but stick around if you're an Android user. I'll give you some tips on what you can do on an Android. And just note, note my uh, VPN symbol at the top of the screen and be sure to check out my video on how to have a virtual private network and the app that I use on my phone. Just disregard all of my Gmail emails there at the bottom that I have to respond to. Okay, let's get into it. So what you want to do in order to set this custom text, rather this custom vibration, is you want to go into your contacts. So click your phone icon and choose the contact that you want to customize. Here I have my Handy Hudson Knight and uh, my number down here, that's a fake number, so don't try to call it. And what you want to do is you want to click Edit here in the top right part of the screen. Come down here where it says Ringtone and click on that. You'll come in here and down here just near the top it says Vibration, Default, touch that. And now you'll come down and there'll be, there'll be different standard customizations and you're free to use any of these if you uh, are in a hurry and you don't want to try to create a custom one and when you click on these it will you'll feel the the vibration uh, pattern for each of these in your phone it's not doing it for me and I think it's because I'm uh, I'm recording my screen and so it's not utilizing that so what you want to do is do create new vibration and all you have to do is touch the screen in the pattern that you want. And down below, you'll see the progress bar with your vibration pattern. Okay, so we got that. Now click play to review it and see whether that's the vibration that you want. If it's not, you can click stop. You don't have to listen to the whole thing. If it isn't, then just click cancel and uh, or actually all you have to do is hit record and it'll clear it for you and then you can do it again. So let's say I want to do a long press, two long presses and then two short presses. Long press, long press, short. Kind of that pattern. Okay, that's what I want. Click save and then you can name it. I'll just do HH um, notify for Handy Hudsonite notify. Click save. You'll see it there at the bottom. That's what's selected. Click back on ringtone and you come back here and you now see that that is the vibration notification. You can click done and go back. And so anytime that that contact is trying to call you, then it will, it, you will feel that type of vibration, that pattern that you set up. You want to make sure you remember what that pattern was. Now, we could go in here and work with the text tone as well. Click the vibration there. And again, we can create a custom text tone vibration different from the calling vibration. So if you want to know whether they're actually texting you or calling you, then you can have that distinguishing factor with this contact. So there are, those are easy ways for how you to, how you can create custom vibration for the text and for the call in an iPhone. So what 
What about in an Android? Well, obviously I'm not on an Android phone, but in Android, what you can do, a workaround in it, and bear with me because I'm not showing you here on the screen, but on an Android, what you can do is you can actually go into your settings and you can choose the do not disturb. And there's a way to go in and choose how you can have a couple of contacts, the selected contacts you want that can still contact you even when your do not disturb is on. So let's say it's just one other person, then you know for sure it's that person who's coming to try to contact you even though your do not disturb is on. Another way that you can work with this on an Android because Android does not have the custom vibration patterns that you can create like an iPhone. There are apps that you can use and I'll put a couple of links in the description of, of apps, Android apps that you can use to set up custom vibration patterns. I appreciate you watching this. Thanks for watching this video on how to create custom text patterns on an iPhone and tips for Android as well. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, The Handy Hudsonite, for more tips, hacks, and reviews so that you can get the job done. And don't forget the notification bell so that you get content as I put it up. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.